that in the United States, another big day in the race for the White House. The Republicans are facing contests in four states, Michigan, Mississippi, Idaho, Hawaii. The Democrats are battling it out in two, Michigan and Mississippi. But the civil war that is erupting in the Republican Party has really got all eyes focused on what is going to happen tonight with frontrunner Donald Trump, especially in the state that is the biggest one up for grabs today, and that would be in Michigan. It's becoming apparent coming out of Super Saturday is that ours is the only campaign that has beaten Donald Trump repeatedly and that can and will beat Donald Trump. Senator Ted Cruz of Texas there. He is currently the closest rival behind Trump, hoping to catch up, hoping a win in Michigan will help him stop the Trump steamroller. But all three Republican rivals to Trump, including this man, Senator Marco Rubio, and also the popular governor of Ohio, John Kasich, they're hoping for possible wins in Michigan and to block Donald Trump from winning in the three other contests. Let's go to Stephen Schmidt. He is known as Dr. Politics, a political science professor at Iowa State University. This is starting to become a regular thing, my friend, between you and me, isn't it? Todd, this is just unbelievable. And for the next few weeks, we're going to be watching like the finals of a big championship or you know hockey professional hockey it's almost as brutal as hockey actually let me ask you about michigan and how important it is for the republicans tonight well the truth of the matter is that there are 59 delegates uh, at stake there it's an open primary which means that uh, independents and and even conservative democrats if they want to can go in and vote in the republican primary um, and that means that it's an advantage for Donald Trump, actually, because Trump has been doing very, very well with groups that are not conventional Democrats. And where he doesn't do well is in caucuses, which tend to be closed. Uh, and so he can't dip over into disaffected voters um, who are not already Republican. We want to show our viewers uh, some of the recent polls coming out here as you and I are talking. They do show Donald Trump doing very well, but there is one poll, maybe it's an outlier, we're not sure, that shows Ohio Governor John Kasich doing very well. Now, he has spent a lot of time in Michigan. It's a moderate state, not far, of course, away from Ohio, where he's very popular. What do you think might happen with Kasich? Well, it would be absolutely fabulous if Trump comes in first and Kasich comes in second, uh, harvesting a lot of delegates, which keeps Kasich alive and happy and it means that his optimism goes up money more money will flow to him and he stays relevant you know this is the part of the country where he's from and he hopes to win big in ohio of course coming up uh, fairly soon uh and so it would make it more interesting if uh, if casey comes back into this game now the last time you and I spoke, it was after Super Tuesday, and Donald Trump had done very well. On the weekend, we saw a mixed result. He won two states. He lost in three others. Now we're going to see what happens in these four states. But, you know, is there this sense that he is vulnerable, that he's not doing as well as he was doing before, that some of the hammering going on is starting to sink in with some of these voters who may have thought about going for him, and now they're saying, mm, maybe he's too much? Well, I think the Republican Party... Uh, in addition to Rubio and Cruz, independently of the establishment of the party, are launching every single incoming that they can at Trump because they really, really would like him to basically fail in this quest. Uh, if it doesn't stick, then that would be amazing because it would really show that they don't have, uh, let's say, the, 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 the necessary credibility. Um, and it could very well be, you know, that people are reexamining Trump. On the other hand, you know, Cruz does very well where there are lots of evangelical voters uh, in the South and so on. And they, the numbers of those voters really shrinks when you get to states like Michigan uh, and, and, and Ohio coming up uh, on, on, on the 12th. So this could be a uh, very interesting test also of how Cruz does when he's outside of his territory. One quick thing, I got about 30 seconds here. I want to ask you for the Democrats, where things seem to be a little bit simpler. Uh, Hillary Clinton could make this all but a sure bet if she does very well in Mississippi and in Michigan tonight. Yes, that's true. Hillary Clinton has been doing very well. Bernie Sanders is sticking in there, and it would certainly give her a bigger lead. Great to have you on, as always, my friend. Thanks for this today.